in an examination there are three papers and a candidate has to get 35 percent of the total to pass in one paper he gets 62 out of 150 and in the second 35 out of 150 how much must he get out of 180 in the third paper to just qualify for a pass well let us consider the marks required is equals to x now we have been given the marks he gets out of 150 and out of 150 and out of 180 so I can say that total marks obtained is equal to 35 percent of the maximum marks and that's what is given to us he has to get at least 35 percent of the total to pass now total marks obtained are equal to the sum of all the marks that are obtained so the marks that are obtained are 62 35 and x which is in the third subject x marks are required so 62 plus 35 plus x is equals to 35 percent of the maximum marks what are the maximum marks well 150 150 and 180 are the maximum marks of three papers respectively so 150 plus 150 plus 180 these are the marks in three subjects now this is uh, quite easy 62 plus 35 is equal to 97 so 97 plus x is equal to 35 upon 100 times the addition of these numbers is equal to 480 right so I have 97 plus x is equals to 5 2s are 10 5 7s are 35 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 and 2 4 right so 24 times 7 and 24 times 7 is equal to 168 so therefore x is equal to 168 minus 97 and that is equal to 71 so option D is the right answer a scored 30 percent marks and failed by 15 marks while B scored 40 percent marks and obtained 35 marks more than those required to pass what is the pass percentage let us assume that the total marks be X now a scored 30 percent of these total marks and failed by 15 marks so if I have to calculate the passing marks I can write it as 30 percent of X so 30 upon 100 X he failed a failed by 15 marks so plus 15 is equals to passing marks right 30 percent of the total marks plus the marks by which a failed is equal to the passing marks now in case of B B scored 40 percent marks and obtained 35 marks more than those required to pass so I can write 40 percent of X minus 35 will get me the passing marks so the right hand sides are equal so I can equate these equations so 30 X upon 100 plus 15 is equals to 40 X upon 100 minus 35 so bring this 35 to the left and 30 X by 100 to the right so 15 plus 35 is equals to 40 X upon 100 minus 30 X upon 100 so 15 plus 35 gives you 50 is equals to 40 minus 30 is 10 X upon 100 so these zeros get cancelled out therefore X is equals to 500 so the total marks are 500 now we need the pass percentage and for that we will need the passing marks so passing marks can be calculated from one of these equations let's take the first equation so 3 by 10 times X is 500 plus 15 will give you the passing marks so this is equals to 3 times 50 which is 150 plus 15 and that is equals to 165 are the marks required to pass so passing percentage is equals to 165 marks out of 500 times 100 that will give you the percentage so 165 upon 5 will give you 33 percent so option A is the right answer
In a city, 40% of the people are illiterate and 60% are poor. Among the rich, 10% are illiterate. What percentage of the poor population is illiterate? Well, this is kind of a tricky question. Um, let us consider the total population of this city is equal to 100 people. Just for the sake of simplification, taking the population of the city as 100 people. Now it is given that 60% of the city's population is poor, which means that total poor population is equal to 60% of the total population. Well, 60% of 100 is 60. Now we can comfortably say that if out of 100 people, 60 are poor, which means that the other 40 are rich. So total rich is equal to 40. Total number of people who are rich is 40. Also, it is given that 40% of the people are illiterate. Now, this includes illiterate people of uh, poor category as well as the rich category. Now, illiterate, the total illiterate population is equal to 40% of the population, which means 40% of 100, that is 40. So, total illiterate is 40, total rich is 40, total poor is 60. Now, among the rich, 10% are illiterate. So, I can find out rich illiterate is equal to 10% of the rich people. So, 10% of 40. So, 10 by 100 times 40. So, that is equals to 4. So, rich illiterate are 4 people. Now, we have to find out the percentage of poor population that is illiterate. So, to find that out, we need the number of people that belong to poor category and are illiterate. So if we subtract the rich illiterate from the total illiterate, what leaves us is the total number of poor people who are illiterate. So poor illiterate is equal to total illiterate minus rich illiterate. So that is equals to the total illiterate are 40 minus 4. And that is 36. Now percentage of poor population that is illiterate will be given by poor illiterate divided by the total poor population times 100. This is the percentage of poor and illiterate. So this is equal to poor illiterate are 36 people upon total number of poor are 60 times 100. So this 0 and this 0, 6, 6 are 36, so 60. 60% 60 of the poor population is illiterate. Of the 1000 inhabitants of the town, 60% are males, of whom 20% are literate. If of all the inhabitants, 25% are literate, then what percent of the females of the town are literate? We have been given that 60% of this town are males. So, total number of males is equal to 60% of 1000 and that is equal to 600. And naturally, if there are 600 males, the other 400 will be females. So, total females is equal to 1000 minus 600, that is 400. It is also given that 25% of the population is literate. So, total literates can be found out is equal to 25% of 1000 and that is if I calculate the 25% of 1000, I get 250. So, 250 people are literate. Now, let us calculate how many males are literate. Well, the information is right there. 20% of the male population is literate. So, total number of males who are literate is equal to 20% of the male population and that is 600. So, 20% of 600 and that is equal to 20 upon 100 times 600. 100 times 6 is 600. So, this is 120. So, 120 males are literate. Now, you can find out how many females are literate. Well, let us consider the total number of female literates as x. Now, we have the total number of male literates, the total number of female literates and the total literate people. 
So if I add male literates and the female literates, I'll get total literates. So this is actually 120 plus the female literates. So I can find, I can get the value of x. Therefore, x is equal to 250 minus 120, and which is equal to 130. So x is equals to 130. That means the total number of female literates is 130. Now it is asked that what percent of the females are literates. To calculate that, we have actually we have 130 females who are literate out of 400 females. So percentage of female literates is equals to 130 females out of 400 females times 100 and that is equals to 130 by 4 is equals to 32.5. So we have the answer option C.